G'day ladies and gentlemen, legends of the highest regard, and welcome to a new series that we're going to do here in Democracy 4. Now, this has been requested by a couple of people, uh, based on sort of what I did in my previous series there with Australia, where I basically broke the game into a million pieces. Um, quite a few people liked what I did within that series. Now... I'll be completely honest with you, I went well and truly over the top trying to create uh, unattainable amounts of GDP in that uh, playthrough, and it absolutely worked. So, a few people have asked me, they're like, can you run a country as if you were actually going to run that country in real life? So that is exactly what we are going to do today. So, the million dollar question is, what country are we going to do this in? Now, probably the United States makes the most sense at this point, just because I have a lot of viewers of this particular uh, series and game from the United States of America. So that is exactly what we are going to do. We are going to have three parties we're not going to have compulsory voting for obvious reasons, the fact that that's not a thing in the United States of America, and I don't see a point at this point in changing that. What I do know is that we need to have a conservative party, a you know left-wing, semi-socialist kind of style party, and then a in the middle party to, of course, balance things out is basically what needs to occur there. So, I feel like the Family Values Party is a fantastic place to start. The Equality Party, a great place to be at as well. In fact, let's leave that red. Why not? And then... Our party, which will be the uh, moderate style party, will be the uh, hmm. Let's go with the United Moderates. And the United Moderates can be purple. Just to mix things up. So we are going to be the United Moderates here in the United States of America. Now, as I said, this will be a playthrough where I actually play through as if I am President of the United States. So. I have 14 political capital, and I need to begin my playthrough. So, first things first, I need to have a look at what is currently enacted. And then I also need to look at... Where is the information about where we are at? Uh, hello? Okay, I don't get a quarterly report yet, obviously. Fair enough. That's, um... Right. Okay, so I don't get a quarterly report. However, right now, my popularity is very low and we have a decent deficit and a phenomenal amount of debt. So, we also seem to have... We're only liked by patriots, the poor, and the retired. So that's an issue as well. So one of the first things I'm probably going to do is implement some stuff that's just really simple, costs very little political capital, and just sort of gets things moving. So first off, we're going to implement a tourism ad campaign. 
Uh, that will increase our tourism and foreign relations, and of course, an increase in tourism is an increase in people's money uh, going back into their pocket, especially if they have a business, which is something we will get to at a later point. Um, we'll also implement a alcohol awareness campaign just to help with uh, the health side of things. We will also implement a tobacco awareness campaign just for the same reasons. We're not going to tax anyone on this. We're not going to, you know, do, we're just trying to uh, increase the GDP through the tourism ad campaign and reduce the uh, demand on the healthcare system, uh, potentially by, you know, uh, making people aware of the fact that they can get some help for their, uh, you know, uh, issues that they may be uh, dealing with. Um, yeah, basically. And then we want to do our cyberbullying awareness campaign as well, so that we can obviously stamp out any uh, potential future issues with cyberbullying is uh, obviously something important and then also we need to or we're going to put a healthy eating campaign in as well again it's going to, so it's going to reduce obesity by 7.54 percent so it's going to reduce the impact on the health system of the country and you'll probably find that one of the biggest expenditures right now is the cost of of the health system. So that is something that we should obviously be trying to implement. The other thing I'm going to also implement is a keep the country tidy campaign so that we can straight away make a good start on the environmental side of things too because the fact of the matter is with some of the policies I will implement the GDP will grow and with a growing GDP the economy will grow, the number of people coming to and from will grow, the number of businesses will grow Therefore, by default, the environment will take a hit. So, that is why we are basically going to uh, work on just these campaigns to start our uh, political career within the United States of America. So, that is all the campaigns that we could implement. And I feel as if that is a good place to start because at least that will start to have a slow but sure flow on effect to the benefit of the country, hopefully. Hopefully. So, the polls do not look good. We are 2% popular, which is not great. Um, so, so this is the first thing put before us. Hydraulic fracturing, better known as fracking, is a drilling technology that allows energy companies to exploit previously unreachable deposits of shale gas. The technique is relatively new and requires the government to give permission to use. On one hand, it opens up potentially huge supplies of energy. On the other hand, there are serious environmental concerns about the process. And for that reason, I'm not going to allow it. Just, you know, capitalists, yes, it's going to piss capitalists off, but I'm going to sort that out with capitalists uh, at a later point. At this point, it's sort of the right move, I feel, because I've just spent time, you know, working on campaigns and stuff to try and reduce the demand on the health system. The last thing I then want to do is to increase the demand on the health system potentially in the future by allowing fracking. So... Another thing that we will do is we will do a cycling campaign as well. So now that all our campaigns are introduced, now we need to start looking at things like quantitative easing, which is uh, at a low amount, enough of a low amount to not uh, cause any issues with inflation. However, as it is something that is already implemented within the country, we're going to drag it up a little bit And how much inflation does that? That causes that causes a one percent inflation. Okay. So at medium level, that is two percent inflation. Okay, 
I'm quite happy with 2% inflation and a reduction of 0.3% in currency strength because we will obviously fix that at a latter point. So let's go with that. That's going to get the uh, GDP ticking along a little bit, which is important. Uh, nuclear fission. Yep, no, that, we can leave that where it is right now. The competition law is nice and balanced. That's fantastic. The work safety law is medium at the moment. Let's leave that right now. Uh, labor laws are pro-employer. I don't know if I agree with that, but we'll leave it for the moment and we'll see what occurs over the next few turns of... Uh, government. So, ban tobacco? Mm. We'll, 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 we won't touch that at the moment either. Um, I'm certainly not one who is into banning things, that is for sure. So, something that we're definitely needing to fund is science-based funding. So, I am potentially tempted to just go the whole hog, which is going to, of course, cost a phenomenal amount of money, but is going to assist in many other ways as well with growth. So, sounds like an insane thing to do first up, but it will make sense in the long term. Now that used all of our political capital, that's going to increase our deficit. It is also going to increase our debt. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pay down $24.83 trillion of debt. I'll be perfectly honest with you. That is going to take more than the three terms of government that uh, I'm allowed to have access to, <laughs> so yeah. So the good news is we're now 3% popular. It's not actually good news at all. So we now have a climate change protocol. The United Nations Climate Change Conference signed a new protocol to limit the emissions of greenhouse gases in industrialized countries. Your country participated in the talks and drove a hard bargain in order to not put too much strain on the economy. Still, ratifying the protocol can be costly, limiting GDP growth and worker productivity. On the other hand, experts claim that this is the only way to save the environment. Do we ratify the protocol? Um, yes, because I'm about to throw a huge amount of beneficiaries towards uh, the economy, not to mention that I just funded science at an insane level. So, we're going to ratify the protocol. Wow, that really pisses off the capitalists. <laughs> That's not such a great thing. However, now, here comes the time where we make the capitalists happy again. So, we are going to fund a business startup campaign. We are going to fund a small business grants. We're going to do nothing else, obviously, because we have one political capital left, but you can see where we're going here. Uh, straight away. So there's going to be a lot of implementation of policies in the first, uh, you know, few turns of government. And then we will go from there. So. Okay, well that's not our fault, but we can sort that out at some point. We've got a major donor who's abandoned the party. Our budget deficit is mm, not um, ideal. However, now we go back to economy and we go to the young entrepreneur scheme as well. So we're going to fund that. And then we are going to obviously fund robotics research grants as well. It can potentially lead to a higher level of unemployment. However, the technology increase is phenomenal. And 
we can sort out the potential issues with industrial automation through a very small, and I mean very small, industrial automation tax. Now, that is one thing that I definitely want to focus on um, solving is reducing the amount of tax that is being put on people, especially through things like uh, payroll tax and you know all those sorts of taxes that don't really make much sense, especially if I'm sort of aiming to have an economy where everyone can sort of become very self-sufficient with ease. So GDP is up, right? The budget deficit is uh, hmm, not brilliant. Um, right, cool. So surgical strikes, terrorists in the Middle East have started to attack vital pipelines owned by our companies and which indirectly provide us with fuel. In order to protect our oil supply, the army would like to start surgical strikes on carefully selected areas. Um, yes, but then we're gonna to have to increase foreign relations uh, costs as well, which is not a problem we can do. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to, just because right now we kind of need uh, access to all of those income, all that income that we can make from those pipelines. And that sounds crazy. Now, obviously that will change and this will then potentially come across as a bit of a futile exercise. But at the moment, that is where we are going to go. So, now we want to have a National Business Council so that people with those small businesses feel as if they are being looked after. And then we want to have technology grants, which is going to increase our technology, our productivity, our GDP, and reduce our unemployment. And I'm fully aware that I am spending huge amounts of money straight away. It will all come together. So that leaves us with one political capital. So we're going to have to move on to the next turn again. Uh, credit rating downgraded. I'm not surprised by that. We will sort that out. Another major donor has a major donor, major donor rather, has abandoned the party, which is not fantastic. The polls report is up to 10%, which is definitely uh, on the better side of where we are. Now, the other thing that I want to increase is having a trade council so that all these uh, small businesses then have the opportunity to trade with overseas councils. Now, now that we've implemented everything like that that allows people the opportunity to uh, become completely self-sufficient, we're going to need to probably do adult education subsidies is one thing we're definitely going to need to do. So we need 12 political capital to do that because we need to obviously make sure that we have enough um, skilled adults to... Uh, be available for all the things we just implemented. Uh, things like reforestation and all that, not yet, but will definitely be something we do on the list, as will the Social Justice Foundation, as will the Youth Politics Council, as will Youth Club Subsidies, in a way to encourage youth to get involved in the entrepreneur scheme, in politics, in something that will benefit them in the future, okay? So at the moment, what we will do is we will now run a CO2 campaign as well. And then with four political capital, we will go across to the next turn and we will need to then figure out our positioning based on everything we've just done. So. That's not a good thing at all. Um, 
Right, so we need to do something about university grants and adult education subsidies because education needs to obviously keep up with the GDP and unemployment is still an issue right now, but we can potentially sort that out. Uh, we're definitely going to need to sort that out because the budget deficit is now very high compared to where it was. So what have we got down here? Now, payroll tax seems insane, but unfortunately, I don't think we can reduce any of the taxes right now because of the deficit that we've created. We're going to have to do things that get people up to where they need to be. So. This is where I may still have to implement a couple more policies. So an enterprise investment scheme might be worth uh, doing just to encourage the fact that the people who start their own businesses can also provide uh, or be provided with investment from the wealthy which potentially will drive them to do that. Um, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, I needed to do adult education subsidies and I need to do something about uh, university as well. So what we'll do is we'll just go to the next turn, keep some political capital, hopefully uh, so straight away, you can see now our budget deficit has reduced significantly because the GDP is starting to grow. The uh, things that we've implemented are starting to take an effect. The income is starting to change. As you can see, our income is now above 800 billion again. And all we've done is make it easy for people to not work for other people and rely on other people for their uh, employment and their income, rather do things on their own, which I think is important. Uh, I'm happy to have transgender soldiers as long as they do their job. Uh, that's all I ask. That is all I ask. What they uh, do in their personal life is of no business to me in any way, shape, or form. Now, public services, adult education subsidies, we're going to implement that. We're going to implement that at the absolute maximum. It's going to reduce the skills shortage to basically nothing. And then the other thing that we need to do is university or technology colleges. No, I need to find university first is what I need to find. Nope. That's not it. Where is the university? Is it? Pr it's probably under here somewhere. Ah, university grants. I need 13 political capital to endorse that. Right, okay. So what we then will do is we will play with the technology colleges. We'll bring that up there. And then we will go across to the next turn and we will do something about the university grants. And hopefully then we should be in some sort of position where we are heading in the right direction. Delivery drones. Um, let's just allow limited trials. Yeah, so we would get just 15% of the vote, but straight away, that is a lot better than where it was. Oh, we don't even have enough political capital to implement what we want to implement. So as you can see, the deficit has already dropped back to 182.5 billion. Now, that is a massive deficit. However, considering that the deficit was up at 220 billion two turns ago, straight away shows, and not to mention the income, is increasing at almost 20 billion per turn. And all we've done is make it possible for people to work for themselves without having to invest their life savings into achieving that. Not a, you know, not, not something that was uh, difficult or anything like that. Not something that uh, 
can't be done easily. It was easy to do. So, yeah. We just have to sort of uh, sit back and allow that to do its thing, basically. So, a social justice foundation, this is going to give the poor a better feeling of inclusion into society and we can potentially use the Social Justice Foundation to educate those who are less well off into the you know thought process of you can be self-sufficient on your own, you don't need somebody to do it for you kind of thing. So we will do that and we will also implement that to the absolute maximum. Now all that says is going to increase liberalism but it will also help to reduce poverty in the long run. So, we have nine political capital, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go across to the next turn straight away, even though we have nine, in the hope that we can then implement the university grants. Our national football team has won the World Cup. There you go. There you go. Um, right. Don't know if I agree with having the death penalty, but again, it's not right now. It is not high on my list of things to focus on, and that sounds really messed up, but I'm all about looking after the people, especially coming out of a pandemic. So as you can see, the budget deficit has again dropped by a huge amount, and the income has increased astronomically. Again, all I've done is make it easy for people to employ themselves. That's all. Nothing more. So now we have enough political capital to go to public services and introduce university grants. So, the question is, do I go the full hog and have an extremely educated... Yeah, so we'll just do grants for all. It doesn't need to be generous grants, grants for all. Yeah, and we're gonna go with grants for all. And then, uh, we're going to cancel the religious banknotes policy as well. So, what sort of taxes are we currently putting on? Oh my God, there's so many taxes. So corporation tax uh, is quite low right now. So might just let that be. Um, petrol tax is very low. So we'll just leave that where it is. The tobacco tax, I'm quite happy with where that is right at this moment. Sales tax is nice and low. Uh, payroll tax is the only thing that mm, I'm not so happy about. Even though it makes a decent income, I mean, it's not something I'm going to touch right now, but I will certainly play with it at a later point. Um, yeah. So the Racial Discrimination Act, we will increase that up to the maximum. That's only gonna uh, use one political capital. And then there should also be um, community policing. Oh, Gender Discrimination Act. Uh, let's bring that to there for the moment. Uh, I need to find... Oh, there's community policing. So, we are going to increase community policing phenomenally and see what it does to the crime rate, if it does anything much at all. All right, so now we'll go across to the next turn and we'll see what's occurring with the 
budget. So the unemployment is down significantly. The GDP is up. Crime will eventually sort itself out. We only have 21% uh, in the polls. We already have a significant technological advantage over less tech savvy competitors, which is good. The deficit is still high, but it's not ridiculous. I mean, to be fair, we did implement um, uni very generous university grants and spent a lot of money on community policing in that turn. So, right now, I feel as if the things that we need to be focusing on is actually very little. We just sort of let need to let things happen and take their uh, course, I guess. Let them uh, come into fruition, I guess is a better way of putting it. Uh, legal aid, yeah, that's, uh, actually, whereabouts is the, yeah, the death penalty. Um, we'll bring that up to the very, 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 uh, oh, actually, no, 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 we want to bring it the other way. Yeah, we want to bring it down to mass murder only. So we'll do that. We'll bring it down to homicide and rape can be what is included under the death penalty. So that's going to reduce our costs there. Uh, oh, we need to appoint a minister for transport. So Angel Torres, welcome to the party. Pleasure to have you here. Uh, so the credit rating has been upgraded. We have a religious plot. Fair enough. We have a new major party donor. The budget deficit is back down to 120.62 billion. Interesting. We have 22% popular. Pollution is going to start being an issue. Okay, so this is where we need to implement uh, reforestation. It is not too expensive and we can certainly, uh, it, it will help the environment. The other thing that we can implement is uh, bicycle subsidies. There we go. Well, actually, a telecommuting... No, yeah. Bicycle subsidies, or do we do a telecommuting initiative? Actually, a telecommuting initiative increases productivity, which automatically increases the GDP. Interesting. I'm going to do that, even though it's more expensive... It's going to mean less cars on the road. Okay. So straight away, we now have $904 billion of income and we aren't taxing anyone anymore. In fact, we're taxing them less than when we started. So. Right. Storm destroys railway right that's not ideal uh, we have a failed assassination attempt from the religious uh, pollution is a thing but it's already dropped 1% from where it was the private space industry has grown considerably we're going to have a gig economy potentially however it's not the end of the world. Uh, alcohol abuse has subsided thanks to our alcohol awareness campaign and we have a new major party donor. 
Right. So, where do we go from here? Because obviously I don't want to let the, now that we've got so many things implemented, we don't want to uh, go out and spend astronomical amounts of money until that deficit has come down. And it will, it'll come down a hell of a lot more. But right now, it isn't going to. So, we, let's, uh, oh, it doesn't actually cost us anything, does it? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Um, subsidized school buses. Yep, that sounds like an okay thing to be implemented. Biofuel subsidies. Uh, we'll leave that where it is right now. That's fine. Road building. Uh, leave that where it is right now. Hmm. There we go. That's going to uh, help the egalitarian society potentially become a thing. So, basically, these next few turns are going to be a situation of... Um, just changing something slightly and moving on and holding on to our political capital simply because we don't want to be doing too much uh, to change things right now, I guess is what I'm... So we have another religious plot. Thanks for the advice. A streamer offers the birthday song. We're going to decline that. Uh, the approval rating is still only 28%, but it is been continuously climbing since we were in office. Uh, the budget deficit is now below 100 billion. We still haven't increased tax in any way, shape or form. Uh, our GDP is climbing. Uh, it is now 29.53 trillion. I don't know what the maximum it can be is, but I mean, it, it looks like we're in a good position. Recycling. What is the cost of universal doorstop collection? It is not uh, expensive. That's going to help our environmental situation, which is still of an issue, as you can see here, with respiratory disease being caused by pollution alongside a number of other factors. So that's what we're going to implement for that turn. Then we're going to go to the next turn. Uh, we no longer have a skills shortage. We have another ministerial resignation. We have a message from a minister. We still have the religious plot, a bad situation of internet crime. I see, I see, I see, I see. So that's because the technology in this country is so high. Uh, why is our budget deficit now 201.79 billion when the GDP grew by 3 trillion in the last turn 3 trillion growth in GDP in the last turn that's insane find me a country that can grow its GDP by 3 trillion uh, okay, so that will be because we need to appoint a ministerial, uh, a new ministerial person, appointment pending. We have 20 political capital. We need to do something about internet crime. So where is the intelligence services? Because there. We will increase that to a spy satellite network. And hopefully that will help to curb our internet crime issues. I'm wondering if that's why our deficit became what it became. 
because we were potentially the target of internet crime, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. The Witness Protection Program, we will. I wonder if that's a cheap way to, that's a, a way to reduce violent crime. And it is a cheap way to do it. So let's implement that as well. Now we need to implement a new minister for tax. So we're going to bring in Paul Jones. Um, which is awesome. And then with our 15 political capital still remaining, we're going to go to the next turn. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use it for um, speeches and manifesto promises and things like that. So we have a scientific breakthrough. There we go. Uh, another religious plot. And rare earth crisis. Okay, so we're going to have to implement green electronics after the next election to help curb that problem because obviously we don't want to go and do more mining if we can avoid it we want to take other uh, opportunities to solve the issue so we are popular ish i believe i mean the gdp is just uh, it is through the roof, absolutely through the roof. The deficit is back down, which is good, which suggests to me that the issue was from the, um, where's, oh, there, that's better. I was going to say the issue was from, um, the cyber related potential attack or whatever it was that, uh, cause the problem so speeches um socialists are happy capitalists are relatively happy as well um they're happy youth are relatively happy Trade unionists are not happy with us, I see. So I feel like the better option is to... Wow, I'm 81% strong leader. Fair enough, but uh, manifesto, we're going to raise human development. We are going to raise the secularity of education as well. And we're going to raise gender equality as well. Right. I feel like those are some decent pledges to take. Also... perceptions uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see let's uh attend the funeral of a police officer and hope Oh, there we go. Brilliant. All right, we'll leave it at that. We won't, uh, we won't try and overdo it in any way, shape, or form. So we've still got 17 political capital, so I'm wondering if we need to just throw something in, uh, economic or something, just to... Um, Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Uh... 
Hmm. Um, yeah, let's give everybody free eye tests. Why not? It's going to uh, help to reduce the impact on the health system. Right, I'm pretty happy with where we are. Our popularity is at 45.25%, so we may actually be uh, re-elected here. So that's, you know, that's the general aim. So let's, uh, let's go to the election and let's see what happens. Uh, right. Let's, uh, let's start the count. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, um, surprising. Very surprising. Let's see. Um, <laughs> didn't quite expect that sort of, uh, situation to occur, but there we go. I can't really complain about that. So I guess we get to begin our next term. Uh, we will start that by, you can fuck off, you can fuck off, and you can fuck off. All four of you, goodbye, have a lovely time. And we will reshuffle the cabinet. So let's hire some new ministers. So we need a minister for welfare. Uh, Brian Morris, you look fantastic there, sir. The minister for economy. Um, let's go with uh, Luke Harris. Uh, Minister for Public Services. We need... Who's got the best rating? Lindsay Morales. Yeah, you can come and be our Public Services person. And our Law and Order position can go to... Uh, Caitlin Turner. There we go. Brilliant. So now we've got a nice, strong cabinet... We have an issue with internet crime, although intelligence services are going to help to keep that under control. Uh, crime will also help to... Health is still going down, uh, and it is on a decent plateau, so that's something we're definitely going to have to focus on here in the next turn of government, is reducing the impact on the health system within the country. We're potentially also going to... Oh my god, gridlock! and traffic congestion is through the roof. So we're going to have to sort out health and we're going to have to sort out the traffic congestion and internet-based crime. Our deficit is only 119.35, which is not completely insane, and that will still obviously uh, end up being better. The economic forecast, our GDP has now actually passed our relative debt which is fantastic news, $34.12 trillion of GDP. Okay, so that'll be a, something that we deal with in the next uh, episode. But ladies and gentlemen, that does bring us to the end of the first episode here in the United States of America of, as your president of the United States, I pledge... And then I, you know, you'll see what I do. That does bring us to the end of the first episode. If you did enjoy the uh, episode, please do consider subscribing, hitting the like button. Please do leave me any constructive feedback on how I can improve these videos uh, or a particular policy or direction that you think may be of benefit to the country itself that I may have missed in what I'm trying to do. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, legends of the highest regard, until the next episode, wherever you are in the world, you look after yourselves, you stay safe, you stay well, you make sure you don't do anyone I wouldn't do, and I will catch you in the next episode. Cheers.